You probably don't think of Excel as being the software to use if you want to edit pictures, but the 2010 version has some excellent tools to manipulate images, which could be useful when you need your worksheets to really make the best impression. So let me show you a couple of things here. Let's go up to the Insert tab, and because we're inserting pictures, that's why we're on the Insert tab, click Picture. And in the Exercise Files in the Chapter 4 folder, you should have this 0404 Olive Tree Valley.jpg. Double click it, and I'll just move this out of the way because we're going to have some menus coming back. Now, the picture is okay, but it's kind of dark. We want to brighten it up a little bit. We might want to recolor it or put some artistic effects. So the first thing is, make sure it's selected so we have the Picture Tools section in the Format tab. So over here, click on Corrections, and this is the default. This is where we're starting out. Now you could make this a little brighter, maybe a little too bright, and it shows you what the brightness and contrast settings are going to be. I'm going to choose this one here. I want it to be a little sharper, so let me go back here, and this is going to be kind of blurry. This might be a little too sharp, so I'm going to choose this one here, and that's fine. Now we might want to recolor it. We'll move this out of the way here. So go to Color, and if we want black and white, we can do that to remove the color, or we can saturate it a little bit more. So if we want this looking a little bit more verdant. Now this looks really false color, so we don't want to do that. So I'll choose this. We could also change color tones if we want. If we wanted to recolor it and have something like pure black and white with very high contrast, or something like a duotone or a tritone, we have these options also. Pretty cool, I think, that a spreadsheet program has these. So I'm going to reset this back here because I want to show you some artistic effects. So click on artistic effects and you have some pretty neat options if you want like pencil sketches and very blurriness, some diffuse glass here if you want a texture of some sort. And you can do all sorts of things with your images. Now, if you decide that, well, maybe that's a lot of fun, but I really want this image back to the original way that it was when I inserted it. Well, rather than deleting it and reinserting it, all you have to do is go up here and choose Reset Picture. You could also reset picture and size. We didn't change the size. And there it is. So there's a slightly underexposed image that we started with. Let me move this back down here. And we have some borders that we can choose and just slide these over. Now, unlike the corrections in the color, these borders will take effect only if we click. It won't be just on rollover. And click this down arrow here, and we have all sorts of other really neat looking options here. So, things that you really would not expect to see in a spreadsheet program. If you want to change border colors, and you can see it's going to get a thin color over there. I'm not going to put a border on here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I want to reset this because I want to show you how we can use some of these pictures in SmartArt. So leave it selected and go over here to Picture Layout. Now this is going to take your image and insert it into SmartArt. And you see we have all these different SmartArt features available, which I think is pretty cool. I like this hexagon here. So I'm going to call this Olive Grove. Press Enter. And I have some bottles that I want to put in, so I'll call this Olive bottles. Well, that's going to go in here. You see there's this picture icon. So click it. And also in the Chapter 4 folder of the Exercise Files, you have this 0404 bottles.jpg. Just double click that. And that gets inserted also. And we can just close this. So I think this is pretty neat that we can put SmartArt and pictures into the SmartArt and do all this editing in a spreadsheet program. You might not know it's there, but it's a pretty handy tool.